gonna try something a little bit different with our videos today and see if I can stick with one puppy at a time and point out a little bit more of their personality traits since we are going to be getting close to doing evaluation and doing their individual videos. But first I wanna preface that with all of these puppies um, are pretty confident. They're very happy to be with people. They love other dogs. They um, are really good at following me around. They're excited about new things. Uh, they all just deal with it just a little bit differently. And they also um, all like, we do a lot of body handling and they all enjoy that. We don't have any of them that freeze up. I always look for that. And then another thing that um, I just wanted to point out is that we have some puppies that are a little bit more on the curious side and they seem to pick up things a little bit faster. My experience has been, not always, but um, very possibly as an adult dog, those dogs are the ones that tend to always have their um, brain working and they're the ones who get into things that I don't want them to where the others that are a little bit more sensitive are, because they're a little more observant they don't have such a drive <laughs> to get into stuff all right so let's see if we can pick one puppy and follow them around uh, who would be the best to start it's going to be kind of crazy. I think I'll just go down my list because that one will get a little bit easier. So first, Pete Girl, who's playing with the stuffed snake here right now. She is pretty much always very happy. Very happy go lucky. She loves to follow me around, and she's really good about paying attention and doing that. As you can see, she likes to play. And she definitely doesn't think that that snake is too big for her. And she's also um, very, I would call, explorative. She likes to, when I take them into a new space, she really likes to wander around and check things out. She's not fearful about any of that. And then let's see the next one right behind her is Miss Cream Girl. And she was the one that was a little bit more standoffish at first and not quite sure about being with the group, but hi, sweetie. As you can see, she just jumps right in there now. She's still definitely my most observant puppy and actually the calmest in the group. What was that? She pays really, really good attention. She's also my quietest puppy. And she has shown herself where a lot of the others will, when they know that I'm working on something, they'll cry for me to come and get them. And she's just very patient and knows that her turn's gonna be coming, and so I kind of appreciate that because the rest of them can get pretty loud. And it's not that she doesn't have a voice, she will speak to me, but she doesn't feel like she has to do it all the time. All right, and then let's find this turquoise girl who is over here playing with the ball by herself right now. Hi, sweetie. Let's see if we can keep track of you, huh? Hi, where are you going? She's also very curious. Um, she, uh, she can be a little bit cautious when something new is introduced to her, but then after she texts it out, it's like she's been doing it forever. And their brothers are distracting. So you can see she just grabbed that bag. This is the first time they've had that type of plastic bag out in their play area. Um, she's also really smart. Um, we've been working on the box game, and they get a treat after I click, which is raw hamburger meat, so it's very exciting. And the rest of the puppies, when I'm done, and I'm just writing down my results, they'll run around trying to find the food anywhere in the room that we're in. And she comes and she sits by me and looks at me because she knows that's where it's coming from. And so far, uh, she's only been the second one to really figure that out, which is really fun to see. All right, the Miss Yellow Girl. She's also our other little sable. This little girl is like so happy-go-lucky. She has got her tail wagging almost all the time. She gets super excited about new things. She's very busy, and she's a really good um, little problem solver. Really active. 
Well, and I say really active. We don't have hyper puppies. Bernadilles don't tend to be that way in general, but for her litter mates, she is one of the more active ones. You can see Green Boy there knows that's where mommy is staying right now. And so he wants to go in. All right. And this purple girl, where are you, babe? Where are you? Let's see, here she is right here. Uh, Miss Purple has really super good focus. I've been really impressed when I've been working with her. Um, again, we're working on the box game. And so when they, first when they look at the box, I click and treat and eventually they need to be touching the box to be able to get that click and that treat to reinforce the behavior I'm looking for. And many of the puppies will start wandering away, looking for the food all over. She's like, nope, I know this is what I'm supposed to do. And so she will just plant herself right on that box and get lots of treats in quick succession. She is also um, has shown to be our most confident puppy um, from the beginning and stayed that way. If you've watched our two videos um, with the elephant that flaps its ears, the first time we did it, she was one of the only ones who came up to really investigate the elephant. By the second time we did it, they were all fine but she was okay with it for the first time and again it's really nice to see she didn't like jump on it and attack it I worry about that type of behavior it was just more like I'm gonna go check it out she didn't feel like she needed to defend herself oh, goodness you guys okay she's being a little bit dominant there right now she um, also loves to be in my lap. She's always been, you know, all the puppies love. <laughs> when you're trying to follow you, sweetie, all the puppies love to be with people. But she's always been also from pretty much the beginning, as soon as she could, she wants to make sure that she's got space in my lap. She's not content to just be sitting by me or touching me. She wants to be in my lap. And that's something that's a little bit different from Cream Girl where she is perfectly content to just come and sit by me and just be touching me. She doesn't feel like she has to be on top. Um, and oh, something else about Purple Girl that I noticed, I mean, so much, so far, anything we've introduced, she's just like game for everything. It's all just fun. She's going to have a really good, she'll be great for someone who's going to do lots of adventures because she's going to be up for all of it. And then our last girl is Miss Ebony. Oh, here she is. Hi, sweetie. Okay. Yellow girl will let her be. Come on, babes. All right, and Miss Ebony's also quite adventurous. She's shown that um, she likes to check out new stuff as well. She's pretty curious, and she's been a really quick learner. Oh, I messed up and wasn't even looking at the right one. No, I was right. That was great, boy. Where are you going? She's like, I don't know what's down here, but I'm going to go check it out. Huh, hi. What's your sister doing? Hi, Ebony. I'm just checking out to see what's down there, huh? I think I said, what else do we say about you, Ben? She's a little bit more mouthy than some of her siblings right now. And again, you know, these things can change especially depending on what environment she's in. But she does tend to get a little bit more excited about things and um, is not quite as gentle as some of her other siblings, but it's not anything that I'm concerned about. And if we move over to the boys, we've got Green Boy. Where are you, my sweet? Here he is. So little Mr. Green, he is still the smallest in the litter, but it doesn't seem to slow him down at all. He has also shown himself to be very confident. Definitely is active. He's got a little bit more of the higher energy for the litter. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because he feels like he has to be because he's the smallest, um, but it definitely doesn't keep him from doing everything that everybody else is doing. And he's another one of those that is just happy and loves just everything, which reminds me of their father, Max. That's how he is. He thinks everything's just a game and super fun. Sometimes a little bit oblivious, it seems like, but Max knows what he's doing. He just loves life. 
And little green boy is starting to show me some of that. And then we've got chocolate. Let's see, here he is right here. Goodness, babies. You've got all these toys to play with. So, Mr. Chocolate, um, so far what I'm seeing from him is he's also one that tends to be pretty gentle. Um, and when I say gentle, he's just really gentle about taking food from my hand. And like when I'm holding him, he doesn't feel the need to jump up on me. He's just a little bit more um, calmer in those situations. Um, Chocolate's also pretty explorative. He loves to go and check everything out. Doesn't have any problems or sensitivities doing that. But he can also be just a little bit sensitive with something that's new at first. He doesn't just rush in and jump on it like some of his siblings. He likes to check it out cautiously at first, and then he's game and everything's good. And then Mr. Blue Boy. Where is my blue? I'm afraid my video is going to be too long. Here we go. There is Blue Boy here. He's the darkest of our sables. And he has a really, really great focus. He like figured out the box game really fast. I think a big part of that is he is so food motivated. And of course, you know, I'm using raw ground beef. And so he was all over that and thought it was pretty exciting. He's also like his father where everything is fun. He loves, loves, loves to be with people. And he's also super confident. Goodness, I don't know if giving them a whole bunch more space was such a good idea today. Usually they're not quite this way with each other. And by the way, this is all normal puppy play. It's how they learn. Nobody's getting hurt. And then um, our last puppy is Mr. Red Boy. Where are you, big boy? So I need to see some faces. I think he's over there. Yep, here he is. Um, Mr. Red also has a really good focus. Um, he can be a little bit cautious at first with introducing new things, but um, same thing, as soon as he is able to just check it out a little bit, then he gets super excited about it. He um, has really impressed me because I can get him a little bit riled up playing with him and he's super excited, and then I can ask him to just sit and be calm. And he's content to do that, whereas other puppies you know, it's, it's not that easy to wind down that fast, so that's been really fun to see. And he also really, really likes to be in my lap and just be sitting um, calmly with me. So hopefully this will work. That's a long video. And but hopefully that will give you a little bit better idea of what I'm seeing in them so far. Um, but we still have evaluations to do and their videos, which will be coming out soon.